a surrealist visionary ahead of his time. Man Ray, born Emanuel Radnitsky in Philadelphia in 1890, began his artistic career as a painter, but soon turned to photography as a means of exploring new ways of seeing and creating art. He was drawn to the Dada movement, which rejected traditional aesthetic values and embraced radical experimentation, and soon became associated with the Surrealist movement as well. Ray initially started his artistic career as a painter. He moved to New York in 1915 and became involved with the Dada movement, creating works that were anti-art and often made from found objects. He then began experimenting with photography, using techniques such as photograms and solarization to create surreal and abstract images. Ray's innovative approach to photography helped to establish it as a legitimate art form, paving the way for other photographers to experiment with new techniques and ideas. Blue Violin D'Angra is a photograph taken by Man Ray in 1924. It depicts a nude female model, Kiki de Montparnasse, with F holes of a violin painted onto her back, resembling the iconic sound holes of a stringed instrument. The title of the photograph is a French expression that translates to Angra's violin, referring to the neoclassical painter Jean-Auguste Dominique Angra, who often portrayed women in a similar manner in his works. The photograph is considered an important example of surrealist photography and has become one of Man Ray's most famous works. L'Arms, French Four of Tears, is a black and white photograph taken by the American artist Man Ray in 1932. The photograph features a close-up of a woman's face with glass tears applied to her cheeks. The tears were not real, but rather made of glass that was carefully placed and positioned on her face. The photograph is a classic example of Man Ray's surrealist photography which often featured unusual and unexpected objects or elements arranged in unusual ways. In Larms, the glass tears add a surreal and dreamlike quality to the image, while also conveying a sense of fragility and vulnerability. The expression on the woman's face is ambiguous, leaving the viewer to interpret the meaning of the tears for themselves. Man Ray and Dolly met in Paris in the early 1930s and quickly became friends and collaborators. They worked on a number of projects together, including the creation of the surrealist film An Chien Analu in 1929, which was directed by Dali and featured a soundtrack by Man Ray. Man Ray and Dali also collaborated on a number of photographic works, including Involuntary Sculptures in 1933, which featured a series of photographs of objects covered in fur, and Mannequin Challenge in 1938, which featured photographs of mannequins in various poses. A rayograph is a type of photographic print that Man Ray invented in the 1920s. It is created by placing objects directly onto a light-sensitive paper and then exposing the paper to light. This creates a silhouette of the objects, as the areas of the paper that are covered by the objects remain unexposed. Man Ray was particularly drawn to this technique because of the unexpected and abstract results it produced. The technique also allowed him to explore the possibilities of chance and accident in his work. Rayographs became one of Man Ray's signature techniques, and he continued to use them throughout his career. Throughout his career, Man Ray pushed the boundaries of what was considered acceptable in art, challenging traditional notions of beauty and representation. His influence can be seen in the work of countless artists who followed in his footsteps, and his legacy continues to inspire and fascinate art lovers around the world.